Hello and welcome to Kismetrizing. So today I'm using the Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor and we're doing the weekly Oracle Card Guidance. And as I mentioned in my previous video, uh, until about uh, the end of February or so, I'm going to be only able to do the weekly Oracle Card Guidance on a Tuesday or Wednesday. And, um, and thereafter I'll revert back to uh, putting it on on a Sunday or Monday. And so I hope you're all doing well. Um, with regard to the uh, other channel um, where I speak more freely, perhaps have more live streams, etc., uh, on another platform, I, I haven't uh, I haven't actually had a chance to set that up as yet. I've just been very busy since the beginning of this year. My apartment's been flooded. My cars needed repairs. My phones have been broken. And uh, my laptop has uh, been broken. So I've just been very busy with that amidst working as well. And now I'm, I think things are kind of s starting to settle again. And I'm going to be able to do that, I think, at the beginning of February as well, as well as put out more of those videos that, gosh, I have still. And I thank you very much for those people who have written to me and offered to edit them. I appreciate that quite a lot. Um, for me, it feels like a real schlep to send them, to convert the file and send them and then you know, and, and that whole process is quite a lot for me. It's it's just, it takes up a lot of headspace more than it takes time, I guess. Uh, but uh, so I, I, I just decided I'm just going to do it by myself. But thank you all who've written to me and offered to do that. Uh, I will be back on track. It's just the last, I think, December and uh, this part of January until now has been so busy and so hectic. And I haven't done an energy forecast either, largely because, you know, I've just been so busy. But I am sorry about that. I will try to get one out as soon as possible. Anyhow, let's get into the reading. Please make a choice of one, two, three, and we can get started. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we're asking, what is your weekly Oracle card guidance? And so for those of you who've chosen the first option, we have the number 19 card and it, it reads rest and rejuvenation. And I think that um, it feels to me like the energy around you could have been a bit whirl, like a whirlwind or that things around you, a lot of things could be happening at all at once or that it feels really busy around you. And that maybe that has impacted you on some level as well. And so now is the time in this week to be able to reground yourself, take some time off, to be able to meditate, to be able to um, do yourself some kinds of um, some kind of um, service, like some kind of self love. You know, take care of yourself. Um, but either way, it's about just focusing inward, not just to the chores that you have to do or the admin or the bureaucracy or the the work that you have to do or the the obligations and responsibilities that you have as a as a person as an adult or a child if you're watching this but rather a time for you to just focus inward and to be able to go into that space which is quiet and still and and just you know a place a place of prayer and um there's not it's almost as if there needs to be um like you just put off your devices, um, shut off the world and just focus inward, focus on what is it that's inside of you and how is it that you are going to move ahead in yourself, okay? So not thinking too much about the future, not thinking too much about the past, or what has occurred or what needs to happen, but rather just focusing inward into that stillness in yourself. And I think that this is a time where that is really important for you. I feel like um, if you try to do other things this week, things are going to move along. They are going to be, they are going to move along. It's going to be okay. But it's almost like um, it's best to start next week. I would say around Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday next week uh, to begin things. So that would be in about... I think about a week from now. Um, I think that 
if you kind of try to do things this week, you're going to find that you are making some headway, but there's a lot of wheels spinning and things not really happening the way that you'd like to. It's more a time where it's it's time to take care of other facets of your life, which you haven't been able to take care of. And I would say that mostly includes giving yourself time, giving yourself healing, but on in some on some levels, I would say that if it doesn't require too much of effort, then uh, hanging out with friends or um, doing something social, which does not deplete you, uh, but rather rejuvenates you, is also uh, something that is indicated in this week. It feels to me a time where, um, if you were to give yourself this inward time, this time for stillness then you're going to find what is more important. You're going to find what is real. And there's another thing here. It feels to me like if you've been wondering, like, what do you do next or where, in which direction do you go to next? Then you might find that in this week, you will find the answer for that. Like you might get an idea of what it is and it might be completely different from the thoughts and ideas and the goals and the dreams that you've had previously, like in the last, um, two or three years. I want to say also that, you know, don't hold yourself hostage to any ideas or any goals that you might have had a few years ago uh, or in the past, because it might be that you've changed along the way, that you recognize that your priorities are different, that you um, value different things in your life, and that the world has changed so much that you've chosen to do something a little bit different from what you might have done previously. So consider all of that and uh, think about it and, and give yourself the freedom to actually just be able to live. Because I think what's going to come out of this week is a sense of being, of knowing what you need to do for yourself that is going to be good for you. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope that there has been a helpful message for you. Good luck with that. And have a beautiful week ahead. I feel like it could be a really nice week for you uh, if you would just let it be, if you would just uh, focus inward and not focus too much on the world's wind that's around you. All right, I'm going to leave it there and many blessings to you all. So for those of you who've chosen the option number two, For those of you who've chosen the option number two, we have the card number 48 and it's the angel of balance. And I think here, um, it feels to me like you've come some way already in terms of your own balance and you've come to a place in yourself where things are relatively calm. I would say that there is a message here for a small percentage of you uh, who have been able to take things in your stride, who have been able to take things as they come and have been quite zen about things uh, as they have been. And this me the message here for those of you who have been able to do that until now is that you've been doing things right and that, you know, just continue the way you are. Continue being graceful in the way in which you go about living your life and um, just allowing yourself to, to kind of just move through life, regardless of what comes at you. And there's this confirmation that you've been doing it right, and you can go ahead and continue that. And for others of you, if you feel that you haven't been doing it right, if you're feeling flustered, if you've been having quite a lot happening, and you're feeling flustered by it, or you feel are dragged emotionally in one direction or the other when anything happens you know do you get too happy and then do you get very sad uh do you get very excited about something and then do you get very bored you know there's a sense here that you need to bring about this balance where you are able to enjoy what is happening in and around you and deep within you 
uh, and have the full impact of what's going on around you, whether it's good or bad, and or the whatever you deem to be good and bad, and then still being able to be balanced in yourself. So you're not dragged in one direction or the other. You actually are very stable emotionally. And this is what is um, suggested in this in this card here. It's very much like, okay, there are things going on around you. There's a greater reality. There are astrological changes and changes that are taking place. Um, there is all of this taking place, but you are you. You are on your path and you can't allow yourself to be dragged in one direction and then in the other. You can't allow emotional roller coasters. You can't allow all these highs and low um, lows, either from taking some kind of uh, substances or by drinking a Coke or by drinking coffee uh, or by um, allowing life to engage you and thoroughly excite you and then to fall from that or to come down from that. So there's a sense of just really being able to manage yourself so that you are going through life and all its highs and lows and being really graceful and really balanced in all of that. And um, if you are struggling with that, you know, it does take time. It does take um, time to develop in that way. There's also a sense here of uh, innocence coming into your life. There's a sense of uh, kind of um, tapping into innocence again. There's a sense here that innocence is already in your life, but it's something that you need to tap into. And uh, in order to do that, you need to come back into balance. Okay. So I think the balance, like this angel of balance that is here, is actually guiding you to come in that direction. It does take time to actually work with this, allow it to come into being. But all you have to do is, is set the intention or be aware of it you know, be aware that you're trying to create balance in your life. And what's going to happen is that it's going to start taking action by itself. You're going to find that you're going to be to be acting in balance without even realizing it and that you are going to be uh, in a good state. You're going to be finding yourself in a very comfortable state. All right. What I was trying to say is that once you actually just ask, you just ask for the help, you will receive it and you wouldn't realize it, but it will start affecting itself in your life already. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. And I hope that you can actually bring this balance into your life. And if, if you have this balance in your life, once again, it's just a confirmation that you're doing the right thing. But I think that this is going to be what helps you along. And it's going to be something that's going to be necessary for you uh, as a skill that you need to have as you go along in the in the upcoming years. All right. Okay. Much love to you all and many, many blessings. And for those of you who've chosen number three, the option number three, we're asking, what is your weekly oracle card guidance? What is your weekly oracle card guidance? What is your weekly oracle card guidance? Wow, and for those of you who've chosen the option number three, uh, the card is number 27 and it reads walking away. Um, so I would say that, well, it's very much about leaving behind some things that you've been doing perhaps for the last seven or eight years, or maybe leaving behind a life that you've had for the last 14 years. You know, very often these things happen in cycles, but it's about walking away and starting a new life again and just being able to develop something that's going to be worthy of you in this new time. And now it might be that you choose to move away from the cities and move to the countryside, or it might be that you choose to move from the countryside into the city. It, But there is going to be some kind of change. I mean, look, that is not going to apply to every single one of you, but there, there is going to be some kind of huge major change which you are preparing for, which is going to be, um, it's going to be necessary this week to pay attention to. 
And the change that we're talking about is something which is doing things in a different way than you have been already. You know, perhaps you've been under the radar for some time and now it's time to come above the radar. Perhaps you've been, um, you know, feeling like you've needed some change in your life or you need to do something different. And now it's time to take the action to do that. So I think in the upcoming week that you're going to find that many opportunities present itself to be able to do this. You might be called by people who will invite you to do things. You might be called up, um, you know, and asked, somebody is taking a look at your CV and they want to uh, interview you or talk to you about something. There is a, a sense that you moving away, walking away um, from a particular situation, from what you know already, from what is comfortable, but walking into something where you stepping out of your comfort zone and it's okay to step out of your comfort zone. The time is ripe for you to step out of your comfort zone. And as you do so, you're going to be opening yourself up to many, many more possibilities. It feels to me like you you might be walking away from some kind of rut that you've been in for a while and uh, you might have just been a bit restricted in your life for whatever reason. And now it's time to actually just allow yourself to be free and to step into a new world, into a new reality completely. And uh, it feels very peaceful. It feels It doesn't feel rushed. It doesn't feel uh, pushed in any way. It doesn't feel like you're pushing to do something and it's not happening. It feels more like it's being you're being guided. It's like you set this intention and you say, well, I want something different. And then things start happening to give you a different reality. All right. I want to say also that um, I, I've, I'm getting the sense that perhaps you should look at the number two as well, uh, in case you there's something in there for you, uh, for some of you. Of course, if it doesn't resonate, don't don't do it. Um, there's also a sense that, uh, you know, things that you might've found really difficult to do previously become lighter for you. It's like, like if it was, mo if moving was really hard for you to do before and you thought about the actual move and how tiring that would be and how complicated it would be, something like that becomes just a lot more easier to undertake now. And, um, it would be something that, yeah, it's kind of almost feels like it's okay to do it. It's time to do it. It's all right to to move into this new phase of your life and to bring new blessings in your world. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I hope that's been a helpful message and I hope it does resonate with you. I wish you all a lovely week ahead. Many, many blessings to you all and please stay safe and healthy and blessed and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.